Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Warship Gunner 2, where we're about to take our carrier to Greece to destroy the enemy land forces. I'm kind of excited about the upgrade to the carrier. I wasn't expecting to spend that much time fiddling with it, but uh, I think the results are a... Mm, okay upgrade. All hands alert. I don't think Full it's like amazing ahead. out of this world, but I think it's a good upgrade. Airborne units, attack! Oh yeah, I think I was gonna add more anti-sub missiles and I never did. Oh well. Secondary objective added. Maybe I should have kept the anti ship missiles. Just these ones over here. See if the 76 millimeter high velocities chew these up quickly or not. I think there's a few too many targets if they want. Uh, 25 centimeter guns feel a bit weak. They really are. They're even chewing up the Queen Elizabeth. That Leander's tougher than Queen Elizabeth. goodies to pick up my ammunition over there. Nothing too crazy though. Take out the battleship first. Move the heavy cruisers. Yeah, I'm 
Actually, he's done a good job of whittling them down. Might as well stay in engagement mode. I think we've almost got them. engagement mode. Does my anti-sub helicopter have radar as well? Yes it does. It acts as a scout like the S-12 does. engagement mode. Cancel engagement mode. Should be entering in a thin range of the Crete Air Base. Enter engagement mode. Be entering range of the batteries coming up here on the left. I think I'll head up the island of Crete and then finish it up in Athens and further north. Ooh, there's the anti aircraft missiles. Cancel engagement mode. I took care of a lot of uh, aircraft with prejudice. Jeez, that I added the ammo bunkers. Just excessive. Should have the carrier go take on Archaeopteryx. See if this is enough missiles. out here. Not that we really need the anti-air missiles anymore. 
sure there's a hidden objective for taking out submarines. Submarines and that last uh, turret down west southwest of us right now. Last. Cancel engagement mode. Might as well leave him out. Once he gets it, he gets it. And you can go pick up other packages. Enemy reinforcements appearing from the southeast. Incoming message from enemy flagship. It's sent by Rear Admiral Magi, Japanese Third Fleet Commander. What? Isn't that the Wilkie and Freedom Force? Nice of you to come along while I was away. Rear Admiral Magi, it's me. I'm the person you saved along with Commander Scuba. You're the little punk from then then? Huh. It doesn't really matter who you are. Halt your attack on our forces immediately. If you do not command, comply, we will eliminate you. Rear Admiral Magi, what would Commander Sakuba think if he knew that you were assisting in a war like this? Sakuba? Oh, Sakuba. That's a good question. What kind of reaction would he have? No, that's just nonsense. He and I are soldiers. That's the only way he'd respond. I will warn you one more time. Will you comply and withdraw immediately? I'm afraid I can't do that. I understand. Then we'll just have to fulfill our roles as soldiers. Farewell, Captain. Rear Admiral. Amagi, fleet. Amagi fleet accelerating toward our ship. We have no choice. Prepare to engage.
stop engine. Enemy ship sunk. Full speed ahead. Cancel engagement mode. What is that Cancel over there? That radar has defied all efforts to destroy it. All right, there we go. Ah, another one of these sweets. like to have some rocket attacks. She's a little bit tougher, so I guess they for that. But down she goes. We've successfully sunk the Yamagi fleet. Rear Admiral Magi's ship, the Hitachi, also confirmed sunk. Where's Rear Admiral Magi? Rear Admiral has been rescued by our crew. That's good to hear. Treat him with respect. He is a high-ranking prisoner. Aye, sir. Is our Chinook going to get there first? Full speed ahead. Oh, he got it first. All right. Mission complete. Now, let's leave the area. Great success. Captain, message from HQ. They're reporting that our ground forces have successfully captured the bases in Greece. 
We're about to enter the final part of our Mediterranean operation. That's a fair amount of money. Cluster missile v VLS. That's nice. Multi-purpose missile 3, which is nice. Carrier 1. Don't we already have that? Anti-ship missile VLS 1. I guess we got ahead of technology curve a little bit. Captain, bad news. What is it, Werner? Rear Admiral Amagi is gone from the storage room we were using to detain him. How on earth did he escape? I don't know. His room was already empty when I went to bring him food. Mm-hmm. Sure. He shouldn't be allowed to un unlock that. He shouldn't be able to unlock that room from the inside. Was there any evidence that the door or lock was destroyed? Uh, no, not really. Huh, so you're saying that... We have a traitor somewhere on the ship, I guess. But how did he get off the ship? We're still pretty far away from land. It's still possible that he's hiding inside this ship. An HQ seaplane took off from here not too long ago. Perhaps he worked his way in there. Send an urgent message to HQ and conduct a full ship search of the ship. Yes, sir. Who could be betraying us? Hmm. Who indeed? I know literary devices like foreshadowing. I can see the writing on that wall. Ain't pulling the wool all over my eyes. Storm tide at the Bosphorus. Hmm. I think I know which mission this is. Our forces have passed through the Aegean Sea and reached the Sea of Marmara on schedule, and are now proceeding to the Black Sea. By now, the other detachment is on its way to the Suez Canal, right sir? Yes, let's hope for their success. I knew there was a reason we've retained Allied firepower up until now. Time for worrying about the others has passed. The base we're heading for is where the Empire's Black Sea fleet is stationed. But the Black Sea is also a relay point between Wilkia and Europe. We should expect such an important position to be considerably well defended. Everyone stay alert. Yes, sir. Executive Officer sir, um, blah, blah, blah. Executive Officer Werner, um, who do you think it is? Save the vague questions for another time. We're in the middle of an operation. But you're concerned, aren't you, about the spy? I don't like pointing fi fingers, but doesn't Commander Braun seem suspicious to you? Why would she? Well, she's not a fellow countryman, for one, and she knows too much about the super weapons. Hmm. I guess that's one way of looking at it. But you can't just go around casting blame like that. If we can't trust each other, we'll never survive the harsh battle we're about to fight. You're right. I'm sorry, sir. You too. That's enough whispering. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Nagi, we've got an incoming transmission. Yes, sir. Right away. Captain, it's from the other detachment's flagship. We've lost communication with their advanced squadron. What? Where did they last hear from their ships? According to their report, it seems to have... Oh, I know this mission. Yes, it's what I thought it was. According to their report, it seems to have been somewhere around the Bosphorus Strait, sir. That's where the entryway to the Black Sea is extremely narrow. I'm fairly certain there was a bridge built a few years ago. Yes, sir, here it is. The surrounding land is highly elevated, forming cliffs. Looking at the terrain, it's safe to assume they've set up an artillery that takes advantage of the elevation. And that artillery sank the advanced squadron? There's no way to know for certain, but yes, it's probable. Then we'll need to silence those cannons if the fleet is to pass. We're talking about a main Empire base, one as well fortified as the Keel base. 
too dangerous to advance any further, sir. It's crazy enough for us to try to enter enemy territory with a squadron this size. But if we don't pull this mission, any chance of victory will be washed away. You know we can't turn tail and run now. Doctor, what sort of weaponry do we need to take on that artillery? Long-range weapons that reach inland targets and elevated targets. Preferably something powerful enough to break through their defenses as well, sir. Very well. When our preparations are complete, we'll embark for the Bosphorus Strait to destroy these fortifications. Yes, sir. Werner seems kind of defeatist. Destroyer bridges. Cruiser bridges. Carrier bridges. Battleship bridges. All the bridges. And some aircraft. No, not to battle. Good reason. Really tempted to do the battleship. I think that's what we are gonna do. Uh, looking at. Alright, we have tech we can't get yet, and we have the 56 centimeter. It's only 24,000, so we can afford that. Ammunition, that's really expensive. Rapids, we have the. 356, which does 80 damage. Still pretty short range. We have the high velocity 100. A 4 inch gun. Start to see a decrease in rounds, but an increase in range and damage that's significant, so we'll start research on that. I'm not going to accelerate research. Explosives? Oh yeah. Guided mines. Oh, we can get unlimited mysterious guns. Sure, why not? Cost 240. And a flamethrower. Well, it might be handy to have that around. Missile-wise, multi-purpose, and anti-ship missiles. Anti-air missile 3, definitely want that one. Anti-air VLS. Anti-ship and surface missile releasing multiple warheads prior to impact. Might be worth it. Anti-sub VLS and anti-sub 3. Snag those, get a lot of missile systems this time around. No hulls, no engine, let's do some aircraft then. We need to snag that last Japanese interceptor. And then how about the British ones? Hurricane, Sea Hurricane. Wildcat, Firefly, Sea Fire, Typhoon, Hellcat, Sea Fire, Corsair. Alright. I guess a whole bunch more aircraft too. And then we just have some updates to our battleship. We don't want short range, so we need to use the heavy guns. I don't think there were any new hulls. What flags do we have? Because reasons. Systems wise, I don't think we had an update. For auto reload, auto countermeasures, fire extinguisher, bilge pump, firing delay system, which I want for the accuracy. We won't double check. 
We haven't really been doing very much systems updating. So marginally better command and radar. Footprint is it bad? It's a little bit smaller. Footprint wise. Looking at the US bridge, it's a little bit bigger. Better command, better sonar, heavier weight. Looking at the UK one, even better. And the German one, which I suspect will be smaller. No, it's really big actually. Better radar. It's really whether I want the British or American one. They're both sizable. Or I downgrade to the Japanese one, since that'll take up less space. I'll go with the Fuso one. That looks like battery. Nope, oh, it's the smokestack. So that's as close as I can get to the forward gun. And still bring the searchlights in. We still have to replace the rear structure. Let's take a look at those. Probably the smallest. The upgrades are minor. The UK ones aren't bad. They get bigger. That's reasonably small. We lose some sonar, but we get better radar and command than the Japanese one. Still think this one is even smaller. German ones have a really good command. At the sacrifice of radar, well, that are generally really big. We could place stuff on those superstructures, it wouldn't be bad. Keep the British one. Pull that back, and funnel-wise, have we gotten any upgrades? That's right, funnel's over here. I don't think so. No, we have had upgrades. We just don't need to use them because that's big. a little bigger to me. So does the German one. So we'll keep the stack we have now. Move some things around. out of the way. Can we stick the searchlight more in here? Yes. That does not allow us to get any closer. So I might as well leave it there. So 
much rejiggering. Oh yeah, that's right, we can stack these a little closer. It opens up space for the anti-sub rockets again. Which means we can stuck the seaways back. Alrighty. Now for upgrades, the high velocity gun, we might as well upgrade. Ooh, we have new anti-sub missiles too. Uh, actually, I don't think we do. Those do 100 damage. Whereas anti sub missiles do 250. Could do the VLS now. That's a possibility. Did the VLS. a bit big. I'm not looking forward to trying to... Seriously? Hit that there? Okay then. Um, but that takes up um, armor weight. Hmm. And what does the VLS look like? I mean, I know how much space it takes. It does a lot less damage. Oh, we can stick it in there and get rid of those. Too deep, it'll hit the turbines. We'll delete this, we come in under weight. We have our full production. Leave it there. Do we have any improvements for 508s? 55 caliber, 2 barrel. No improvements. I think that is our ship for the next upcoming battle. There is zero chance of me stuffing more engines on this. Since that center line is absolutely crowded. So I think with that, we are at the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you staying to the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Take care.